months from now in March, it's really gonna get crazy. There's some progress being made there, so that's exciting. There's so many decisions to make. It's a big month. It's a big month. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm Chris. And we are Indie Homestead. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're talking about our six month plan. Yeah. <laughs> so I, ha I was thinking, six months from now in March, it's really gonna get crazy around here. Yeah. And how ready do you feel? Zero. Zero I, percent ready. See, I don't know. I think 10% would be more Zero to 10% ready. There's a lot of things to do around here to prepare for garden, prepare for animals, prepare for just life, right? Mm -hmm. I need lists. Honey, what's on the itinerary? <laughs> I'm a list girl. I need to be able to see the task and tackle it that way or else it gets really overwhelming. So. I kind of broke up our next six months into monthly goals for starting our homestead officially come March, I think is when we'll kind of be more in motion, but there's a lot of springish. things. Springish. Yeah, springish. So today's October the 4th, so I'm starting with October and we're gonna go all the way through March. We're gonna go through each month and kind of say our goals and hopefully in six months time, we're gonna look back and be like, we crushed this list. Like, right? <laughs> I probably won't say that. We're gonna say that everything on this list and more got tackled. So, right now it's October. What are we doing this month? We're a little behind schedule. I think you're supposed to like finalize your your planting in late or mid to late September. But we finally are working on the septic field. That'll be a video in and of itself. There's some progress being made there, so that's exciting. Yeah, we're currently trying to film the time lapse of of hopefully lots of growth over the septic field. The, the work is done with it, we just don't really have anything to show for it right now. Okay. Time will tell. <laughs> Time will tell. And then if it doesn't tell, we're gonna be some sad monkeys over here. <laughs> that was more of a task for September, but it got, it got kind of pushed back to October, which is fine. We're doing the thing, so it's gonna be okay. The next thing is cats. I want some barn cats. We have two little babies and a, a German Shepherd that we can barely contain and you want cats. Yep. I want barn cats, one, because I like the idea of having an animal that like wants to do its own thing for a while, but also I'm terrified for the mice in this old farmhouse. We've heard horror stories from our neighbors and relatives that once they clear out, you know, they harvest the crops, all the animals that are living in there, including mice, migrate from the fields over to the next closest place, which tends to be people's houses. And honestly, we've already had mice in our house this season since we've moved in. Now it's I, an old farmhouse. I know, I know, but I'm just worried we're gonna have like an, a whole like refugee camp <laughs> <laughs> of mice looking for, <laughs> looking for. This just got political. Looking for shelter and food, which we have. Right. So we need to, send in our troops. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> we need cats. I'm not anti-cat. I just, I kind of feel bad for them if they're out here by themselves. Like they don't have any other animals to. I want to get two. And it's going to be in the middle of the winter. They're not going to have any friends other than each other. You want two. You want two. Just so they can be friends. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on. This is getting out of hand. Okay, so septic field hopefully will be taken care of. What's next? November. <laughs> <laughs> right. So in November, the biggest project is working on laying down the groundwork for the garden. We plan on incorporating a lot of leaves, so we kind of have to wait till the leaves are ready, which is why this is getting pushed back to November, or else I'd, I would have liked to have worked on it this month, but that's okay. So does that mean you have your system laid out for how you want to prep your garden? I am 97% sure as to how we're laying down the groundwork for the garden. It includes leaves. It definitely 100% includes leaves. Okay. We're planning on using a no-till method, more smothering the lawn as opposed to tilling it up and disturbing the soil. So we're going to document all that. We're going to document all that. So that's all I'm telling you today. So that means I got to figure out a way to gather up all these leaves and bring them over to one specific area. Correct. It'd be all right. <laughs> We are still on November. <laughs> okay, besides the garden, the other thing is I'd like to invest in a deep freezer. 
Right now we have, I don't know what the size of our current refrigerator freezer is, but it feels very small. Yeah, it's old. It's one of the older school. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it's at least 20 to 30 years old. It's, you know, it's got fridge on one side, freezer on the other. It's just small. I mean, it, it works very well. It works. And you, you basically re, uh, what's the word? Refin refin no. Refinished it. Refinished it. It's um, all rusted and nasty. Yeah. And it's been serving its purpose, but we, I, I like to make meals or make whatever and freeze it for the sake of preserving next summer as well we need more freezer space anyways and next is december so december is always just a crazy crazy month because of holidays and whatnot i think the big thing is the barn the focus will be on really organizing the barn unless right. we can tackle that sooner but definitely by december we want to start yeah, we won't be able to do a whole lot of stuff on the outside so at least the barn provides some shelter and we can get that all cleared out and get it ready for animals. Yeah, and to work on more things in the winter, like right. a place for you to work on things. Right, other winter projects. Right, exactly. And before we move on from December, because that the barn kind of ties into that, another goal throughout the months in the winter is to freeze meals. So that's the same for December, January, February, etc. to constantly be freezing meals. So what's the big goal for January? I think we need to decide if we're doing a chicken tractor, if they're going to be contained in an area within that tractor, or are we going to do a coop or a movable coop? And if so, we need to build those items and have them ready for spring. Yeah, we need to decide our chicken method. We need to decide what chickens we're getting. Yeah, there's so many decisions to make. A lot of the winter too, we'll be researching where we are acquiring these animals and all that. So. A, lot of, a lot of finalizing and buttoning up plans. So that's the big goal for January. Obviously, we'll probably add things to the, I mean, we can do more than just figure that out in January, but that's whatever. So February is kind of a weird month for us. We are gonna be gone for a little bit of time. It's kind of our last hurrah before we get a bunch of animals and have until, a garden to take care of. Until we can't leave. Until we can't leave. <laughs> Not a ton's probably gonna happen in February. Um, potentially starting seeds. I think another project either late this year or February when things start to change weather-wise would be really figuring out the, the pasture where we're throwing the gates at and we obviously need to make a run from the barn where they're going to be spending the night to to the pasture. We have somewhat of a pre-built run that's like 50% completed that goes from the barn out to the pasture so we can utilize that but we have to do that when the ground is able to be dug into. So around February or March, once the ground starts softening up, we can finish out that run. Just basically working on infrastructure, once, like making sure, as you would say, it's, everything's buttoned up. Mm -hmm. We have all these things in place so that we're not scrambling to figure out how to get things from one place to another. And then there's March. This is kind of the last official month on my list. Um, that's when we'll start our first seeds in the ground. So like potatoes and things like that. It'll still be cold, it'll still be a chance for frost. So there won't be a ton of things going in the ground, but it'll be kind of exciting. March is always such an exciting month. I always feel like, oh, you can start to kind of see signs of spring. So yeah, so we'll get some of the first things in the ground. Hopefully we'll get lamb. That's the plan. Whoa. Lamb. Lamb, is that when we'll get chickens and, as and well? And chickens, that's and a big month. It's a big month. March is when it's gonna get crazy. So that's why it's important for us to plan. I, I mean, we still don't know exactly what we're signing up for here. We're doing our best to kind of reference people and taking in all the advice we can, but honestly, we're just kind of taking a shot in the dark and making sure that we are doing the best we can to prepare for when we're getting started in the spring. And it's just six short months away, it's gonna fly. There's plenty of other projects that need to be done, but this is kind of our general list of starting our homestead come March. Right? I like it. How much? At least some. <laughs> I'll take it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so as we mentioned, there's so much coming up to share with you guys. So if you're interested in following along on our journey or if this lifestyle interests you at all, make sure to subscribe. Because again, we're gonna be sharing so much, right? Yeah. yeah. Then we're also over on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is Indie Homestead Fam. We post on there as well. So we'll be seeing you guys around. Bye. Bye. So I was sitting around thinking, not that I sit around a lot. Uh. <laughs> not that I'm sedentary. <laughs> Where's this wind coming from? I don't know. The sun. <laughs> the wind is coming from the sun? Yeah.
Is that how that works? <laughs> really? You're, you're pretty kidding. sure. I thought it was the rotation of the earth. Uh-uh. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next is November, if you're following along in the calendar. So. <laughs> okay, babe, what's going on in November? Uh, Actually, I don't want to say babe. <laughs> okay, honey, what's going on in November? I came across very sarcastic. Try again. <laughs> I'm curious, what's going on in November? <laughs> November, you... <laughs> Especially if we have animals and we plan on butchering animals, we gotta have a place to store all that, and we can't shove it into our little. Our little. <laughs> <laughs> we take our dog out every night, and we hear coyotes. And they don't howl back. I just don't think you're very good at howling. <laughs> <laughs> and then, kind of preparing for some family events coming up as well, birthdays. Uh, no. They don't care. They don't care about that. <laughs> Dang Only it. we care. About I it. care. They're my babies. <laughs> I don't have any other February plans. Do you want to go on a date in February? Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's our original. Yeah, that's when we first started dating. They don't care. They don't care. March is always such an exciting month. Things finally start to feel like we're bursting out of. So it sounds like we got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, a lot. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>